Hi, and welcome to this quick video that will feature one of the integrations that Beyond Trust is making available for ServiceNow. So this is one of the integrations that has been certified and is available in the ServiceNow App Store. And the integration that we will look at today is called Password Safe External Credential Provider. And it's a free application. So let's take a look at my ServiceNow environment. So this is one of my test instances. And if I do a search for computer named RHEL74, it comes up empty. So I just wanted to show you that you know the computer does not exist yet. What we will do is we will run a discovery scan to be able to discover this uh, computer that's called RHEL74 that's uh, located in my uh, lab. And I'm going to show you, you know, a list of credential objects here. The first two are SSH credentials. So the first one is an example of a traditional ServiceNow credential object. And the credential is stored in ServiceNow itself, which means it's stored in the cloud. And at runtime, when the discovery uh, process needs to connect to that server, to discover that server, to inventory that server, it will, you know, use those credentials stored in service now and that's the problem we want to address here because if you have you know hundreds if not thousands of endpoints that you want to want to discover or maybe you want to use orchestration or some other process that means you have all those passwords in in service now and if i'm a system administrator you know i could impersonate somebody else and try to retrieve those passwords in clear text you know th this is a, a big uh a big uh ball of risk here and um, some auditors are actually asking organizations to not store privileged credentials in that manner and the alternative that we're providing with external credential provider is that we can externalize those credentials so let's look at an object here that has been configured a credential object that has been configured using an external credential store which is beyond cross password safe now i just need to provide an identifier there's no password in this object and what's going to happen at runtime to the mid server these credentials will be retrieved they will never leave uh, the on-prem environment so they stay at the mid server level and they are fresh every time you know, a process like discovery or orchestration needs access to those credentials. And I can run a quick test on them here, you know, as part of the configuration to make sure that, you know, I'm able to retrieve those credentials. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a discovery schedule. So let's just, you know, use a quick discovery here. And we're just going to point to the IP address um, of the uh, those that we want to discover is going to go through the mid server. So let's launch that process. And now my process is launched. And through this process, you know, we're doing the discovery. We are actually doing that using an authenticated connection using the externalized credential object that I, I just showed you. So you can see that this process is, uh, is running now. It's trying to run different steps here. And what we can do here, we can actually take a look at computers again. And now if I do a search, I'm able to see this new computer object, new configuration item also that has been created in, um, in ServiceNow. And I can see all the information. If I scroll further down, I will be able to see information about hardware and storage devices, all the software that's installed. And all this, you know, is possible without having to store a privilege credential in uh, in service now in the cloud. So uh, otherwise, you know, what would happen is I would need, you know, root level accounts or sudo accounts, or if it was a Windows server, you know, local administrator or domain admin account, all these privilege accounts would be in service now in the cloud and um, you know because of the fact that it would be configured uh, in a static fashion in service now you know that would kind of prevent you from rotating those credentials on a regular basis but now with external external credential provider you can uh, you can you know decide to rotate these credentials every week every month uh, every uh, every day or maybe after every use you can make them virtual one-time credentials and 
uh, these credentials are always fresh, checked out from password safe and runtime, which allows organization to limit the uh, amount of confidential information that they want to expose in, in, in ServiceNow uh, outside of their organization. So thank you very much for watching this quick video. And until next time, I hope you'll, you'll have a very good day.